And what I did was I took a little Tupperware container like that. Not the same one. And then cut a hole in it about midway through, okay? Just large enough to slide this in. And what I did was I put my die back into the mold like that. Uh, to give it some give it support as far as it'll go Just like that Okay, and cut a hole and just slid this in so that it was uh, Sticking in like that as far as it would go and then uh, what I did was I pulled it out and uh, took some plaster Paris Okay, and just Filled it halfway Actually, I, I actually I kept this in there. That's right. I remember now I kept this in there while I was pouring the plaster I just poured it around on either side until it was half full. Okay Kind of get the idea and then uh, after this layer dried I uh, took some Vaseline and coated the top here so um, That the other layer of plaster I put on top wouldn't wouldn't stick to it. So that, then I, went, so I uh, Did that I put poured in another layer and it uh, basically covered up my little mold entirely. Now when I took this out, I actually had to destroy the mold to get this thing out. I have now two separate pieces um, that'll support the mold. So what I do is, when I'm ready to cast a pier, I put it in here like that, there's one half, and put this on there like that. And then I take a couple of heavy duty rubber bands and wrap it just to hold it together secure enough. And then, oh yeah, of course, I uh, take my little, uh, my little die out here. Let me get this thing out. There, just like that. So I put it in here, just like that. A couple of rubber bands and fill it with plaster. And that's how I keep this thing from uh, bulging out when I put the plaster in. So uh, I end up with something nice and straight and smooth for my uh, bridge piers. So that's uh, one way of doing it. And uh, I'll uh, be taking you through the process of building and creating a mold. I'll be showing that later when I'm actually ready to make the... Uh, cast panels for the bridge abutments. I'll make them one generic size and just either cut them down or sand them down the size and glue them into place, basically wrapping the foam, but that'll be my bridge abutment. So that's the quick 100,000 foot overview of how I made my bridge piers and how I am going to make uh, the bridge abutment. That's how it kind of looked like that when things are in place, more or less. Well, maybe less, but anyway, um, let me go ahead and start uh, gluing, getting all the foam glued in place along here. I just need to keep in mind I'm going to be cutting all this foam away here. I mean, smoothing out a large chunk of this. I just want to make sure i got enough to work with. 